strange. Might be a glitch. I'm not getting like a button for this thing. Like when this thing goes down, you're supposed to get a button that calls it back up. I'm not getting a button for over here for some reason. Need to be... Aligned to the object's pivot point, that yellow orangey thing, in order for the uh, mirror thing to work properly. So now that that thing is uh, aligned, everything is aligned. Now, when you turn on the clipping thing, if I move this thing, it snaps to the edge. It will not move because it's snapped, it's clipped to the edge. If I turn it off, it de snaps it. So that does that, that does that, and that does that. So now that we're at this stage, what? Well, now that we're at this stage, what you can do is, I'm gonna like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the rest of my head. So I'm gonna select these edges here, and then I'm gonna extrude this upwards. Extrude, like that. Extrude again, like that. Extrude again, about here. Scale by X, Y, scale by Y, S or scale Y by the Y axis. So that makes all these edges like nice and aligned and even. Now we're gonna take this guy, I'm gonna extrude it one more time, I'm gonna curve it around. So this is gonna become like a track, like an edge loop that self-terminates itself. Rotates by... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, rotate here. This will form like the outside of the head. Extrude one more time. And this is going to close it. Rotate by... What did I say? X, Y... And that should be closing it. Uh, must have something to do with uh, the axis. Oh no, you know what it is? It's because of clipping. That's why it's not really scaling properly. Uh, that's okay. Now all these guys... I'm going to extrude. Back over here. Extrude again, back over here. And then when it gets back here, I'm going to take these guys, I'm going to extrude it one more time. I'm going to bring it together over here. Huh. forgot what I did for this part. Nah. I guess I'll do this. Then, uh, oops. I'll cut this here. That works out. Don't, don't worry about it if it looks like weird and ugly at first. It usually looks like weird and ugly at first. And then again, you just tweak it until it, it looks better, until it looks good. Now I'm going to switch over to uh, face mode and select a face. Now if you press control and the plus and minus button, that lets you uh, change the size of your polygon selection. But you have to use the plus and minus button on your number pad, otherwise it's not going to work. Special menu, smooth. Special menu, let's move. Switch to vertices. Turn on grab. Proportional editing. Once you get like a solid head shape, like good topology and whatnot, the rest is a matter of just uh, tweaking your polygons until you get it to the shape that you want it at. You see the fugitive? For some weird reason, I can't get that movie out of my head. The Carson Ford's done like a lot of things. Were they in? They're like in Indiana Jones. They did Indiana Jones. They did um, Star Wars. They did The Fugitive. How old is that guy? Like, seriously, man. I 
guy must be like ancient, but he doesn't even look that old. I used to know this dude, right? And like, shoot, man, this guy's like, he never ages. Like, when I was a kid, he still looks the same as he did like about 10 or 20 years later. Like, don't you people age? I hear, um, um, Asians, Asian people are kind of like that too. They don't really age until they get older and then they age really quickly. <laughs> or something I've been told. I don't know. It's really weird. They just like deflate like a balloon. Well, you guys, I'm, I'm sure you guys get like the basic idea. Just keep tweaking it until it looks good. Alright, uh, I guess I'll uh, just try and extrude some necks. I'm going to extrude the neck now. here, right at center, Yeah, I guess I really should have like tried to practice this part more before uh, building this tutorial. But uh, the basic idea. As long as you guys get like the basic idea, then yeah, it's it's then it, then it's good. I don't think this it's like I don't think it's too bad to do it like this because uh, if you're doing it this way it means that you can um, accommodate for like the Adam's apple so you've got like some more vertices out here and you can like bring them out to form like in the Adam's apple if you want so it gives you some like options in that respect. You don't have to do it like that, but um, there, there are different approaches. There are different ways that you can do it. Uh, that, that, that's that's generally it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn off um, my mirror for a second, and I'm gonna extrude some eye sockets. So I'm going to uh, select this edge, hit extrude, All right, I'm going to bring that, oops, okay, three, there we go, bring that in, a bit, a little bit, so there's some area for the, uh, the edge to go, and then I'm going to cap this thing, 
And then while this thing is capped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut this eye out. Uh, if I like turn off the back face culling thing, no, the back face culling thing was off. Uh, I guess it doesn't really... Uh, work out, pan out for that particular tool. That's too bad. Select these edges. Uh, it's going to be the eye socket. You don't have to like model the entire eye socket. You can just have this and then rig some things in here and make the eye open and close and some such thing. You can even like um, add some like extra edges in here, some extra polygons around the loop here, and like uh, fold them, overlap them in order to create like the eyelid. And uh, get some like eyelid action going in there. Uh, mouth. Extrude. Extrude this in a bit for the lips. Extrude it again. Set the scale to 3D cursor. Uh, don't delete. Scale X. Bring it up a little bit. Uh, change this to vertici. Be careful. Don't break the face. Change it to median. Move that up a bit. Put it up some more. Uh, maybe I'll choose the other the left ortho and turn off this guy. The solid. And the back face culling thing so I can like select stuff and move them around and stuff. Extrude. Scale by Z. Scale by the Z axis. Scale it up. Extrude again. Scale by Z again. Scale by Y. Bring this together. Scale by Y again. So I can bring it together even more, even closer. Uh, turn on my pinchy thingy, proportional editing, G, up. Uh, maybe I should turn, change this to connected only. Scale that. Oh, wait. Uh, turn on proportional editing, scale it by X, Z. And scale this by X, yes. Move that in a bit. Right. I guess I should do this a bit quicker. Now I'm gonna need some teeth. After you get like the correct topology, then the rest is just a matter of like tweaking it until you're happy. In the tweaking process it can go on forever. Sometimes, sometimes you get like really lucky, right? And you like just try it out once, right? It's like perfect the first time, but usually you end up having to like tweak it a bit until you eventually get what is whatever it is that you want. And when you're like making the mouth, something you gotta pay attention to 